everyone and today we have free repair desktop motherboard this motherboard is built on a chipset Z97G45 and before we'll start doing any diagnostic or repair processes let's read a message from our customer Enclosed is a MSI C97G45 gaming motherboard. It does not leave an attempt to power on with or without any components plugged in and with or without CPU power plugged in. That's actually very smart of him and to that point we will be back shortly. Um, I even tried to jump the power supply on and the board will not post. That's the only part which I didn't get in this message, but I hope it didn't damage our board. Take a look and see if you can repair it. I include i3 uh, uh, processor and two memory sticks to test with it. Thanks for taking a look for me, Anthony. And that's what it is. Uh, we have a processor which I'm which we are very thankful because I don't really have any processes on a socket 1150 and two memory sticks. So thank you, thank you. Uh, but we won't plug anything because I'm not sure if it's safe plugging anything in this motherboard. So and as well, I didn't, I haven't had a look on this motherboard at all, and therefore I didn't take shields off, uh, which might interfere our for the diagnostic. So at this point, let's just confirm our problem. We will plug our plus card, our CPU fan, and our powers. Just see, okay, let's see. Okay, everything plugged in. Let's try launch it up. How we can see by postcard, we have our. Mm, it's kind of fibbly, but we have our 3.3 volts. And uh, okay, let's start. Let's try it again. And it's just bricked out. And. Uh, what we will do, we uh, unplug our power to a processor that will illuminate if we have a problem with uh, one of our, um, if we have a short in, on one of our phases to a processor. And um, let's uh, launch it up. And same exact thing. Does not react at all on anything. Okay. Uh, we got to disassemble our motherboard, and this is actually a pretty nice sir, desktop motherboard. We won't go all over specs, sir, but nice build motherboard like that eventually will throw you a couple FPS's while gaming and compare with HP and other chipsets, sir. Mm, okay, but yeah, let's be closer to our business, sir. First, what I would really ch check is. Um, is uh, if uh, we have a power to our button because how we could see it does not react on our button and on our button we have um... wait a minute oh here and on our button we have uh, 4.4 volts which is works for us and uh, now let's just get rid of our bias battery so it won't probably uh, distract us from our measuring resistance. Let's see if we don't have any issues with our battery. And we have 3.4, 3.51 volts and that works for us. And it's not draining out. And it's not um, uh, draining out. So let's say the Svidania to our battery. Ah, give me a second. Okay. Um, and let's start from our resistance. First, what we will see if is our power to our CPU, and we just have to touch one of our coil because all power is in a parallel. 
and that what was ringing that's basically how the capacitors got charged and uh, so far everything is good um, and next uh, what we'll see is the power to our RAM it's better in uh, uh, resistance mode uh, and let's see what we have over here and the power to our RAM we have uh, 360 ohms which is perfect uh, next what we'll see is our hub power and our hub power we have resistance uh, oh we have a short um, <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, see once again yeah we have a straight short um, I haven't had that much uh, motherboard in this build for repair but we should count on about over 100 ohms uh, resistance on this face so power to our hub is in short um, uh, let's just keep measuring all our other main powers uh, before we are coming back to that um, now let's see from our 3.3 line and 3.3 line we have oh yo yo we have a 190 ohms uh, which is uh, also mm, um, a low resistance so on this phase we should count in about uh, uh, 1 kilo ohm and let's just uh, confirm our guess uh, let's just uh, launch it up Oh, we don't have to. Let's just see what power we have on this our 3.3 line wall. The 3.3 line, and we have 0.4 volts instead of our 3.3. Oh, and actually, hub is getting hot, and our hub is getting hot. Okay, because those 3.3 volts uh, they spread all over the motherboard. And uh, it goes to a bias flash, it goes to a, it powers up drivers, it powers up line stabilizers, it powers up our uh, level shifter which communicates to our DVI HDMI port and uh, after all it powers up it goes straight to our hub. Uh, let's just see um, if we have a uh, good resistance on all our other main powers such as our standby wait a minute okay right here on our standby um, is good on our 12 volt line is good and our 5 volt line well it's also a little bit lower resisted but uh, let's uh, how we already found the first our step which we should go to wire to is our hub let's start from here customer has a great for you pair and I already ordered and we got it cheap I'm so happy because this time at some point it took a while to get this one uh, um, and after having a look so far I could tell nothing but makes me think suspicious so let's just keep doing our job
Okay, um, our board is slightly warm, so it's cooled down. That's actually our old chip. Um, yeah, we will just leave it over here for now. <laughs> right now, I just want to plug and see if it works, but let's at least see. We won't go over all our lines, let's at least see on our line to a hub. And on our hub, we have a, wow, 150 ohms. Yeah, that works for us. Um, Alright, let's plug everything in. There's lots of things to plug in. I'll just try to do it as quick as possible. Uh, we won't plug a video card because this type of processors, uh, they support a video core. So we will plug our screen just straight and forward from a motherboard. Also, bad thing about this motherboard is gonna be... Ah, uh, not bad, that bad, but um, yeah, our motherboard um, has a X1 PCI Express, it doesn't have X8. And um, yeah, by X1, um, uh, sometimes it doesn't really show lots of information by uh, post codes, but at least we will see uh, our uh, main powers, how they acting up. Um, yeah, I think I plug everything in, except let's, of course, uh, our fan, and already put it on our processor. And our screen. On the motherboard. Okay, I'll hold it like that. Um, let's just zoom it out. Oops. So let's just here. Okay. Uh, let me just double check that I didn't forget anything. Oh yeah, let's see. All our main powers went up. Let me just hold my finger on the hub. Hub is getting slightly warm. That's also a good thing. And uh, we should go already to the our bias. In the five. Opa. And now, yes, uh, we have a picture. We have a picture. That's a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna shut it off. Let's just plug everything in. Um, I already assembled everything back and uh, how we could already make sure we have a picture. Uh, so the problem from the beginning was our hub and uh, yeah system is loading up and I'll be testing this board further on. Um, so yeah please put likes, dislikes and um, I'll see you in another video. So. That's our JLT guy for today. Alright, thanks. Bye.